I was born and raised in London. I was born in the East End of London and um, I grew up in the 80s, which was a particularly vibrant time. To say it was Thatcher's Britain and then you had this, a lot of turmoil. There was a big resistance against them in a way. So it made for a very interesting time, a lot of clashing. I've always felt blessed to have been brought up in London at that time because it was incredibly rich with music. And it's quite a tribal place anyway in London, but it was particularly tribal at that time. I've studied fashion and I always felt like, in some respects, the process is similar. I've always done cutouts, paper cutouts, um, and I still do to this day. So it's part of what I do, no matter what it's going to be, even if it was a painting, the study would be as a cutout. In a way, it's quite classic the way I work. Like, for me, it's really about being able to show someone's essence. When I do portraits, I don't get them to stand too still. You just carry on working. I like that because your work can have movement. And particularly as what I work in in cutouts, it's very flat. It's a very flat medium. So to get this very flat medium and start bringing it to life and making it dynamic, I find it quite. I'm attracted to the spark what some people possess. The first time I saw him, it was just so striking and his form is amazing. Like, this exploration of the form is something that I just always find I never tire of it, you know. You have to push your work, you have to push yourself, you have to find new ground. You have to be able to be honest. If you're doing a portrait of someone and you're really trying to get their essence, if you don't know yourself very well, or you've not explored that, I feel like it doesn't really inform, you can't see other people properly. My source of inspiration is actually humanity, I would say. That's the key thing.